this is Eat Show presents the RCB podcast. We were rivals in primary school. Uh, he was based from his side of town or another different town. Yeah. And then I was 13 years old, was the best side, you know, so then we went to the same school, which is probably still today one of the better, best schools in, in South Africa. Yeah. Um, sporting schools. And we were like this competitive, super competitive personalities. I can only imagine both of you going at and it. And like <laughs> relentless for the first time together. And we're like, yeah. So it was this very competitive uh, relationship at first that grew into a friendship. And then, yeah, and then AB's path was just so different to mine. AB was the best at, when the, when the eyes of the, the right people's eyes were on him, he would just turn it up and be AB, like amazing. So he'd pull out this innings that would just, everyone would just go, wow, this guy needs to play for South Africa, like. Like now, now. yeah. Um, so at school, he was an exceptional sportsman <clears throat> and naturally gifted at everything. So he could do everything. And he actually jumped through hockey and rugby and cricket. And he was very good at everything. Everything, yeah, yeah. But then almost like wasn't quite sure where he was going with which sport. Yeah. And I was so focused on cricket. So consistency in cricket became my thing, like cricket, 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 consistent. And then AB almost like he didn't really care. Like it was just, it was just I'm just going to go play cricket. I'm just going to have fun. But then when the, the national week at the end of the season, when we got picked out of all of different schools as, as franchises, go represent your age group, we go to a tournament against all the other states. Yeah. As would be in India. AB would turn it up to another level and he'll just like score three hundreds in five games and it'll be like him playing against like little baby kids. Like he was just on a different planet. So he had this ability to just just jump, jump, jump. And then after the tournament, he'll play against a senior provincial side as a 19 year old. Yeah. And he'll be just be like, I'm too good for you guys. And he'll dominate them. And it's like six weeks later, he'll get an opportunity to play for the SAA side for the first team. And he'll just smoke 90 of like 60 balls. And so it was just like. Phew. So he's always been ahead of the curve. He's just, he was just shooting lights out like well before his time. Wow. So my journey was the opposite of that. My journey was this long, almost like uh, gravel road. Yeah. That 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 takes time. That builds you. It breaks you. 